Here are two symbols for an OR gate. Number one, and symbol number two. Here's the OR gate and the truth table. The OR gate works like this. If you have a one, or a one, on the inputs, if either one of these are a one, or both of them are a one, you're going to get a one output. Okay, so we look at the truth table. X is a zero, Y is a zero. There are no ones. The output has to be a zero. Next line. X is zero, Y is a one. Huh? There's a one. So your output's going to be a one. Next line. One or one gives you a one. I have a one here in the X, zero in the Y. Doesn't matter. I've got a one. I'm going to get a one output. Next line. I have one and a one. Ah, oh, that's great. So one in either position gives me a one. I've got a one. So my output is zero, one, one, one. We've seen inputs and outputs from the perspective of a truth table. Now let's look at the inputs and outputs from the perspective of pulse operations on the OR gate. Here are two pulses. Given this input, what is the output? Well, let's draw vertical red lines at the points of instantaneous change. Like so. Look at the beginning over here, just before the first red line. And the top input is a zero, bottom input is a zero, the output will be zero. Next section, the, the, the top input is a zero, bottom input is a one, the output is a one. Let's look at the next section, the top input is a one, the bottom input is a zero, the output will be a one. Look at the next section. The top section is a zero, bottom is a zero. Huh, this guy's going to be a zero. Next section. Top section is a one, bottom section is a one, output's going to be a one. Next section. The top section's a one, bottom's a zero, it's going to be a one output. And finally, the last section, the top section is a zero, bottom section is a one. The output is going to be a one. So this is your numeric output. And this is its corresponding graphic. You have a zero, and it maps to the zero. Over here to the one. Come down again to the zero. Goes up when it's a one. Stays a one up until it drops again at this point. This is its corresponding graphic. Logically yours, George Bull.